Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the UTV bonus, please! Make some noise! Woo! So the idea started in 2016, where myself and a guy called Ben put together our first event, which was for brain tumor research. And the idea, rather than just using people to play basketball and make money, um, we put together a team that was made of people that have been affected through brain tumors. The idea came from a friend of ours called Marcus, who lost his wife to a brain tumor, so we did it for him. Um, and, that, and, that's, and that was our first event, which was really successful. Break was when we found out about uh, Maddie's sister, and we decided to do another event, so this time for Marie Curie. Again, the Marie Curie guys don't get a lot of attention, but they should, so that's why we did it for those guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, so today's the first day of our uh, training session for the Marie Curie Juliet Blight charity day. Uh, we're just like walking up to the Red School now, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be some new faces. We've got six weeks of training. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so uh, check it out. It was an eight week training course where we put the guys through the, through the ropes and had some fun, met some great people. Um, and then with that, uh, and every week as well, we, we, we brought in a different coach uh, from, the, from Plymouth uh, basketball community. So last week we had a guy called Jamie Brooking come and do the session and uh, the guys absolutely loved it. Um, what was really good was at the end of it, they were sweating their asses off. They were absolutely knackered. But again, they're all smiling and laughing. So it's all good. Um, so this week, we're really lucky we got a super special guest. We got a guy called Danny Stevens from uh, the Plymouth Raiders. Uh, he's the assistant coach, and he's gonna come and do the session. And I know we spoke about uh, doing defense this week, and you know he loves it, and I know he's gonna go hard on them as well. So that'd be cool. But again, they'll love it, they'll absolutely love it. When we first started, me and Ben would have been happy with Five hundred pound. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it was all fun, but uh, you know, with this one, we've nearly done, nearly done four thousand pound. We wanted to raise some money for Mary Curie for my sister. She passed away from cancer this year. Don't hope that we come towards the end. No, it was a lot. Twenty-four-seven, four months. Just got to the point where we were both exhausted and we needed a bit of help. So we reached out to Mary Curie, and they come along helped us in the last four nights of Julie's life, made us get some sleep, and helped us to build some precious memories with her rather than worrying about looking after her, we could be sisters again. They provided us with night nurses, the nurses that come in during the day, and they looked after us as well, made sure we was all right, turned us off, made us cups of tea, really nice they were. Give Julie her tablets and her injections when she needed it, when she was calling out in pain. But if it wasn't for Marie Curie Nurse, we wouldn't have been there for Julie to take her last breath. So, for the first night, we had actually fallen asleep, and she woke us up and said that Julie's breathing had got worse, and she thought that she was passing. So, we jumped up because we were sleeping in the same room, jumped up and if it weren't for her, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have seen Julie take her last one. And we were there with her as well, which is good. Well, I met Troy when we were doing a crossover match for the MS Society. When I walked into the Creative School of Arts and met him, it was interesting. I met all the boys and they were all just such a laugh. And basketball in itself is a good sport. And I thought, why not? UTB do a lot for charities, and I think you enjoyed it, didn't you? Oh, it's just roped into it. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, it's week five, Unity Through Basketball. We're doing this for our sister Juliet. It's going to be a good day, 23rd of July, at the Red School. Everybody come, everybody bring some money. Hoping to raise £6,000, 25% we've done so far, so come along and bring your dosh. Oh yeah. It was hard. First time, the first time I went, holy moly, it was hard. <laughs> I kept going, because 
idea egg from Maddie. And Troy kept me going. It didn't just click anyway. And it was, yeah, quite apparent that we'd have all have good relationships. They make everyone feel welcome. So you don't feel, even though, like, Shells, when was the last time you did exercise in a team sport? <laughs> School. And she just fitted right in. They made her feel comfortable. Who, who did the best training session with you? Who was the easiest one? Who was the easiest one? <laughs> <laughs> they were all hard to me. Probably not to you. But to me, it was quite hard, all of them. I just thought, well, it's for Julie. Maddie is getting a, a rub down. She's loving it. Before we even started. <laughs> How's it feel? Is it good? Go it's good. It's good, yeah? This is mm. the guys at City College. <laughs> Say hello, Luke. Hello. Hello. Cool, look at his face. This is the competition. <laughs> this is the competition. They're going down. They're going down. Deep really, that's it. Go on. In fact, do some damage. Do some damage. <laughs> Slow her down. Slow her down. <laughs> and what do you think she would have made? What do you think she would have made of your, your basketball escapades? She would have laughed. She would have laughed. She, oh, she, she would have loved it, all those boys running around, yeah. And she would have laughed at me, like, you know, look at my big sister <laughs> running around and, yeah. It's just a shame, you know, she couldn't be here to see what, you know, what's come out of losing her, really. service um, and we have wonderful Marie Curie nurses in Devon, there's about 70 of them in the Devon area and what they do is go into patients homes um, usually overnight and they give that one-to-one -one care um, generally from 10pm through to 7am um, 
and it's giving emotional support and practical and hands-on care. Well, our website has loads of information about all the different ways you can fundraise for us. And that's mariecurie.org.uk and lots of information about inspiration for different kinds of events to do. And I'm based in the Devon Fundraising Office and so I'm here to give anyone who's thinking of planning an event lots of support um, with ideas and ways to promote their event and really make it a success. So they can give me a call on 01 what can I say? All I can say really is thank you. Um, means so much to me, to my family, um, and it would mean so much to Julie. Just knowing what we're doing and raising money for an amazing charity. Um, I'm going to keep going hard work but I am actually enjoying it so see you next week and thank you